Today, we have a 1v1. Boom. Guggenbait's 10 inch Mondo Worm versus, boom. Zoom, Magnum, Speed Worm. Now, who's gonna win? Who, uh, hey, hey, break it up, break it up. Oh, sight fished him. Oh, it's a good one. Is that a big bass? He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yeah, got him. Oh, oh, it's a big one. I'm going to put this bass back so I can get back in there. I'm telling you, these are the two worms right here. But we're about to find out who the champ is. So if you're not familiar with Florida, this right here, this is the champ. This big bad boy right here has been the champ for a while down here in Florida. Now, when I first moved down here to Florida, you know, I gave it a try, caught one or two fish, and I was like, okay, I don't know what the big deal is. I catch just as many fish on a stick bait on a Senko. And then I started watching some of these weigh-ins at these big bass tournaments down here in Florida. And some of these big name guys that were in the top five spot, the announcer would ask them, well, what'd you use? What, what were you throwing out there? And they're like, zoom speed worm. Nothing fancy. Just chuck that, that bad boy out there, reel it in, and boom, you got yourself a bass. So I'm like, all right, man, all these pros are using this. I got to start using this. So once I started using this for real, started to really learn how to use it, man, I started catching some fish. And this became the champ. I realized, okay, it's the champ. It's, the zoom speed worm is the champ, okay? But recently... I've been throwing the 10 inch Mondo Worm and that's how this challenge came to be. I've been throwing this a little bit too and I find myself when I want to reach for one, I don't know which one to reach for. And that's what made me think, I need to find out who's the champ. And I know there's going to be some people out there going, you're going to let the 10 inch Mondo Worm challenge the champ? Really? Really? The new kid on the block? You're going to let him challenge the Zoom Speed Worm in Florida? Really? But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this has been putting fish on the bank. This has been catching some fish for me just like this. Is, this catches fish for me, especially in the summertime. Summertime is good to have a worm. You can just sit on the bottom and then move it a little bit. Once they see that tail wiggling, they want to come and grab it. When they're biting good, you can catch them while it's moving. And when they're not biting as good, you just let it sit there for a few seconds. Then you bring it and they see that tail moving and they go, ooh, I might want to bite that. And then you drop it on the ground. They go, yeah, I'm going to bite that. And they come over and pick it up. They've been doing it for each one of these. The worms are a little different, but they're both swimming worms, and I fish them both the same. So I think we have a very even challenge here. I have two colors in this, and I have two colors in this. I have black and blue, and then I have like a purple, a June bug color. So we're going to be fishing with the same colors. I'm just going to switch them out, you know, when I want to throw this color, when I want to throw that color, you know, that sort of deal. So the colors are going to be the same. And yeah, I'm gonna make this a nice, clean, even fight. Each one of these bad boys is gonna get three rounds, an hour for each of these baits. So that means I'm gonna be fishing for six hours to decide a winner here. And we're gonna see if the Mondo Worm can beat the champ. And we're gonna see if the champ holds on to the title. I don't know, we're gonna have to see, right? It's gonna be a slugfest. All right, let's get into this video. Real journey. So as you can see, we're by a busy road, so don't mind the noise. I gave that speed worm first shot this morning, and it was a swing and a miss. Now the Mondo worm is up, and let's hope the Mondo worm can put in some work because we need to catch some fish in this challenge. Don't worry, I'm gonna give both of these worms plenty of shots. They're gonna be trading punches, and we're gonna see Who's going to come out victorious? All right, let's get into it. So I have 20 more minutes with the Mondo Worm. I think I'm going to use those 20 minutes to fish at the river. So my first round with the Speed Worm was a dud. And I almost finished the round with the Mondo Worm. I still have 20 minutes left. But I am dying of sweat out here. So I'm going to use those 20 minutes to go fish at the river the river that i caught the 7.7 .7 pound bass and it's just the water's cooler there everything's in the shade the temperature difference is like 15 degrees i mean even there i'm sweating but compared to here it's night and day
There's a big bass right here. Got him! Oh, sight fished him! Oh, it's a good one! Oh! <laughs> that makes me feel so much better. Woo! I was reeling this sucker in, and I seen him see it, and he turned on it. And I just killed it and let it sit there. Oh, yeah. All right, hooked up. Not a bad one either. All right. I literally have like two minutes left with that worm before I switch to the speed worm. So that was crunch time. But I'm going to see if I can't catch one in two minutes and see if I can't catch two on the Mondo worm. All right, let's get back at it. All right, so the Mondo worm is coming off and the speed worm is officially going on the clock and that speed worm needs to get on the board. Whoa. Oh, we could stand in the tree. That'd be awesome. All right. Oh, got one. Oh, he let go. No way. He let go. What the heck? Oh, but we're back in the spot. We're back in the spot. Oh, I got bit immediately. Does he have it? No, he let go of it. No, he didn't. He's swimming towards me. He's got, yep. He's got it. All right. He was swimming towards me. A little tricky bugger. Oh my goodness, look how I hooked him. Just barely hooked him right there inside of his little mouth. Not bad though. Not exactly a giant bass. He's a little guy. But we tied it up and we still have time left on the clock. So let's hope we catch some more. You know what? I think there might be something on that far bank. I'll let it sit on that bottom for like 10 seconds before I reel again. And so that gives any fish that sees it and goes, ooh, that looks good. Time to come over and pick it up. Cause they're, oh, I just got bit. Does he have it? He has it. Got him. Got him. Got him. See? So that's the pattern. That's how we've caught all three fish. That's how we caught them with the Mondo, Mondo worm. That's how we caught them with the speed worm both times. You know, neither of these are very big for the speed worm. But hey, it's a fish. We don't have much time left on the speed worm. Uh-oh, we have three minutes. This was the last Mondo worm I was using, so I'm gonna put this one back on. And uh, it might not last very long because it's already punctured and stuff, but we're gonna see if it will. So there's a little pond right here. It's gonna make like three casts in here. Ooh, I think there's a bass over there. Something moved. All right, something is moving in here, like a lot. My first thought would be, oh, is that a big bass? He's got it, he's got it. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, he's a good one, he's a good one, guys. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh did Oh, that's the biggest one so far. God dang. Shoo. Oh my goodness. I've never caught a bass out of here. All right. That's the biggest one so far. Actually, the two biggest ones were on the Mondo worm. So we tied it up 2 2. This sucker's got some weight to him. Let's get him back in the water. That tied it up right there. We got ourselves a slug fest going on 2 to 2, and we still have plenty of time left. I have a lot of time left with the Mondo Worm. I've really just started fishing the Mondo Worm. The Mondo Worm might take the lead, but guess what? The Speed Worm is going to get one more shot, and so is the Mondo Worm. So we're going to try and catch as many fish as we can right now, but right now we got ourselves a slug fest. It's tied up 2-2, two, two. although the Mondo Worm has caught bigger, uh, <laughs> bigger bass, but it's still tied up 2-2. Two, two. All right, let's see if we can catch some more on that Mondo Worm. Oh, oh yeah, we're about, oh, I just got slammed. 
Got him. Oh, he's smaller. He's smaller. But I got him. Oh, no. Get off of there. Get off that line. Get off that line. Get off that line. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go in there and get him. No, no. He just tangled himself. Dang it. All right. Caught another one. really really oh my goodness this is so cold oh I just walked in that pond water oh it's a completely different temperature oh so hopefully I don't fall in like I was saying I got my phone and car keys in my pockets oh man that felt good actually put some of this on my face oh yeah I like that I felt good Time out, time out. All right, so we're 35 minutes into fishing with the Mondo Worm. No, 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 sorry. We're 25 minutes into fishing with the Mondo Worm. So we have 35 minutes left of fishing with the Mondo Worm. We caught two fish, we took the lead. We're up three to two, uh-oh, putting the pressure on the speed worm. But as soon as I got down to the river, my GoPro crashed. It said overheating, too hot temperature or something like that. So I took the GoPro back to the car to put some AC on it and that's when I realized like all my batteries are dead or about to be dead so I drove 40 minutes home I charged all my batteries then I drove all the way back and here I am what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish with the Mondo Worm for 35 minutes and an hour back to back so I'm gonna fish with the Mondo Worm for an hour and 35 minutes so that when we get to the Speed Worm's last turn because the Mondo Worm has the lead it's up to the speed worm to catch up and beat it or fall short. We got to see what happens. All right, let's get to it. Uh-oh, I didn't catch one with that 35 minutes I had with the Mondo Worm. So that's going to make things a little interesting. But I still have a full hour, so hopefully I can catch some fish and put the pressure on the Zoom speed worm. But right now, I just have a one fish lead going into one round apiece left for both of them. So that one fish lead is not safe no nope 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 either one of these worms can catch them real quick at any point in time so stay tuned because i don't even know how this is going to finish i have about 25 more minutes with the mondo worm but i'm really excited about this spot i think we'll hook up with something here we weren't getting bit anywhere else All right, so we have 15 minutes left with the Mondo Worm. That's it. And so I put on a 16th ounce bullet weight. I downsized it a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe that slower fall will actually benefit me. Man, I know there's some fish around here. Oh, just got bit. Does he have it? Yeah, he does. Got him. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. How much time do I have left? Oh, I still have, I still have like seven. No, no, no. I still have like nine more minutes. Okay. Clutch. With nine more minutes left on the clock, caught another bass. I knew there was a bass in here. I knew it. All right. Got to release them quickly. Got to get back in there. All right, y'all. So the Mondo Worm is done. And now the Speed Worm has one hour to try and finish this off. So we caught one in crunch time with the Mondo Worm, which bumped the lead to two fish. So the Mondo Worm has four fish and the Speed Worm has two. We need to catch two fish just to tie with the Speed Worm, but you know what? It can do it. I've caught a lot of fish really quickly with that worm. So let's hope that it's about to happen right now and we might put on a little clinic and we might leave the Mondo Worm in the dust or we might catch two fish we might tie i don't know i guess we're about to find out huh all right let's get to it all right so i retied with no weight so i bumped the weight down with that mondo worm to a 16th ounce and it was falling a lot slower and that's when i got that bite so this is heavier than the mondo worm so when i bump this down to weightless it's about the same thing as that mondo worm so we're going to take a page from the old mondo worms and what was working there we're going to hope is working for us so i'm about to just try and quickly fish this area i'm not going to spend a lot of time in an area i already fished with the mondo worm 
but I am gonna fish it just in case they would they want to bite this over the mondo worm all right so we're moving right here at this corner is a little tasty spot that I think oh my toe cramped oh geez ah dang it dang my toe cramped when I slipped on that oh geez now my toe hurts Ow. all right let's get to this spot try catch a fish because if there's not a fish here we got to run to the next spot it's only been five minutes so we oh got one come on come on oh it's a good one oh it's a good one oh yes it's <laughs> I was just saying it's only been five minutes. Oh, I barely have him hooked. But we're going to get him back in the water. There might be more bass right here. We might take the lead right here, right now. We still have 55 minutes left. All right, that felt good. Oh, my goodness. All right. Whew. Whew. All right. We got to get back in there. I have a chance to take the lead, and I'm getting tangled in branches and stuff this little tiny branch I need glasses because I swear I didn't even see this little thing there I might have to get my eyes checked three to four not a bad day we've caught seven fish I'm telling you these are the two worms right here but we're about to find out who the champ is we got the time too got time on our side right now Oh, did I just get bit as soon as it hit the water? No way. Yeah, got him. Oh, oh, it's a big one. It's a big one, guys. Oh, oh, it's even bigger. It's even bigger than the last one. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Come in here. Oh, y'all, we found the spot. That's a freaking toad right there. Tied it up. Woo! So we've caught two good bass now on the speed worm and two good bass on the mondo bat on the mondo worm and we just tied it up. So it's 4-4 four, four, and I still have 45 minutes left with the zoom worm. All right, let's see if we can come out on top with the zoom worm. We're going to try. And right now, I'm going to put this uh, <laughs> I'm going to put this bass back so I can get back in there. Woo! That was a bigger bass. And it's right here in this deep hole. I knew this was a good spot. I, I kind of regret not coming over here with the Mondo Worm now, but what are you gonna do? I mean, I did catch one in that other spot, so it's not like that spot didn't look good either. All right, all right, I gotta stop talking. I gotta get back in there. Oh, kind of tired. <laughs> Came all the way over here. We have about 10 minutes left. I think we're gonna catch something here though. If we catch something here, that's it guys. We know who the champ is if I catch one here. All right guys, we have four minutes left, four. All right guys, we have three minutes left. All right, one and a half minutes. <laughs> It'd be so cool if I caught one right now. All right, I got time for one more cast. All right, the cast is in the water. So if it takes me five minutes to get the lure back to me, it takes five minutes. It still counts. I got the lure in the water. So I'm gonna milk this in case there's a bass sitting down here. Oh, oh my goodness, I had one. I tried to set the hook. When my line was loose, what am I doing? No. Oh, there's one hitting right there. Oh my goodness. All right, I think a bite came alive with 30 seconds left. No way. Okay, I don't have one on right now, but I'm gonna milk this. The wind just picked up out of nowhere.
Come on, something pick it up. Got one! Oh! Oh my goodness! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my goodness. I had two bites on the last cast. Two bites. With 30 seconds left, I had two bites. Right now it's a tie. I don't I don't think I can end the video like this. I guess I mean the sun is still up in the air. We still have plenty of day left. Well not plenty. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go to extra innings, extra rounds. We're gonna go to overtime. This is this is happening. We're giving it 15 minutes each bait. And if we can't catch it on that, then it is a, it's gonna be a tie, because we can't be out here all day. <laughs> but I did not want this to happen though. All right, all right. Okay, 15 minutes each bait. I'm gonna start with what I have on. The zoom worm is gonna get first crack at it. Then I'm gonna tie on the Mondo worm. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so we just finished sudden death. We just finished overtime. Before I let you know who won, before I show you who won, I just have to say these two baits were slugging it out. We Man, we had ourselves a heavyweight match. We had ourselves a slug fest. Oh, it was a good one. So at first the Mondo Worm came in strong. It was landing some big punches. We caught the big bass on the Mondo Worm. But down the stretch, the champ showed he's the champ and he came up strong with two big fish, two big punches. He wasn't going down without a fight. And then in the end, the victor was no one. Ugh, I got a couple more bites with the Zoom Speed Worm at the end and one bite that might have been a bite with the Mondo Worm but they didn't connect in overtime. So it became a draw. I think they were gassed out. They they spent all their energy. They laid, they laid it all on the line. And in the end, it was a draw. So, you know, take it how you want it. I mean, they're both really good worms. They prove that. They prove that they're the champs. They're both the champs in my book. But if the Mondo Worm won, I wanted that to win decisively because when you step up to the champ, you got to put him on his back. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta make an example. You gotta earn that belt. You gotta have your hand high with pride that you laid them on your back. I would do both hands like Ali, but I'm holding the camera. You, you know what I'm saying? And so, the Mondo Worm did not do that. But, but honestly, the Mondo Worm looked like it was the winner, and then the, mm, the Speed Worm came back with a vengeance. Oh man, this was a doozy right here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we're out, deuces.